Echondroplasia is the most common cause of short-limbed dwarfism in humans, affecting 250,000 individuals worldwide. This genetic disorder results in various social and medical complications. Today, USMTV will be talking to Ms. Li Ling Zi, an Echondroplasia volunteer for the study, who is also a graduate student from the Center of Chemical Biology at USM. It's actually started with a question, actually with my curiosity of want to know why am I different compared to other people. So we started off with this with a question, why am I different? Since young, I was diagnosed with echondroplasia, so that's where we started on just analyzing and looking further into this disease. Echondroplasia is a kind of very common short limbs of a, of a human being. It's, it's a genetic disorder. So because uh, echondroplasia was already known medically, and it's already, this disease is actually mapped to a mutation in chromosome 4 on a gene called FGFR3 gene. So with all the mutation that are already known, so we started by sorting and isolating chromosome 4 and by using a s technique called flow cytometer. After s isolating the chromosome 4, we have it sequenced and then surprisingly is that um, our analysis found out that the classical mutation which has been known for achondroplasia was not found. So that's how we starting from one chromosome into the whole human genome that since we cannot find the mutation in chromosome 4 we we planned and we wanted to look into other other chromosomes that trying to find out what what could be the cause of this uh, this uh, disease that I have personally is the curiosity and of course Curiosity cannot work for the project, just project. So the driving, the main driving force is what um, the help and advice I have been getting from CCB at USM, the infrastructure that they have that helps me to really work and really work into this project. This is kind of a very initial stage, so um, we hope that running this. Uh, research hopefully it can be a platform for future research that any researcher worldwide that wants to work into bone dys dysplasia project this could be a very good platform by looking into the human genome within usm ccb at usm has a collaboration is also one of my co-supervisor from medical sciences in kuban korean dr rowani so she has been very kindly providing all the medical advice relating to this project because this project is somehow medical related. And of course, um, internationally, our collaborators is uh, Los Alamos National Laboratory, the Joint Genome Institute, that their director, Dr. Chris Dieter, and a few other scientists like Dr. Shannon Johnson, Dr. Tracy Frintas, and uh, Dr. Patrick Chain. All of them have been working very hard in different parts of especially in sequencing and bioinformatics. With all the chromosome sequence, we'll look actually into all the sequence in, uh, all the chromosomes individually. Hopefully uh, we could we can find another indicator that can link to this disorder. <laughs> Thank you.